Hi guys, so you will remember this copper kettle thing um, and if you did that video, that exercise, you will remember that I said I'm going to do it in color at some point. So I think coffee would be the perfect medium paint to do this copper kettle with. I just want to lighten the lines a little. Before I start painting. We are again going to use three shades of coffee. <laughs> if you want to call it that. Um, I think we're going to stick to three shades for now to keep things a bit less complicated. You can paint with more than three shades, but I think for now we'll stick to three shades. I think that would be fine. Right. So when I start painting, um, of course, you're going to have to do your drawing first, your peer contour drawing. When I start painting, I'm going to start with the lightest shade of coffee and cover pretty much everything except for the white, white highlights, like for instance, those three there, and there are more here. And up there there's more and on the handle there is some and right around here and at the tip of the spout there's a white part that I'm not gonna cover um, keep that completely white just paint around it all right then I'm going to move on to the next the second darkest shade of coffee and I'm going to work on, let me just enlarge this, that I will use mostly for the not completely darkest parts, like for instance here, um, there is a little bit um, on the lid, there's some, all the mid-tones. I'm going to use that shade for and then I will use the darkest shade of coffee for the darkest parts like they and there are little bits here and on that part there there's a little bit of a darkest shadow here and around here is a little dark spot as well of course on the handle and here and oh on the spot this is quite a long stretched out one there and a little bit there that's where i'm going to use the darkest shade so i'm going to get started and i will fast forward this oh again i'm going to paint with brushes if you have brushes at home feel free to use them for this if you don't use cotton buds that would be fine for this biggest air for the biggest areas um, for instance here you will paint with the lightest lightest sh um, shade and I think you might also need to lift off some of the coffee um, to get that light shade there for the kettle um, for the, this big part, you can use a cotton bud or uh, a cotton ball or a piece of um, sponge that you have cut off. The one piece of sponge that I used for my first coffee painting, I cut off of a, one of those square kitchen sponges with a scouring part at one side. So you can use that. You don't need a big piece, a small, small little 
square about like that big about one or two centimeters square that should be fine alrighty so I'm going to fast forward from here and start painting I'll talk to you guys again afterwards
I'm just going to do the last few tweaks and then I will be done. For instance, correcting this mistake right here. There. there was another one I found somewhere right there. Just need to turn the paper a bit. Right. 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 Okay, I think I'm pretty much good. There's still a pencil line here on there that I don't exactly like, but other than that there's just a little finishing touch here and there that i still need to do this one Soften that line, yes, I'm going to dab at it with the kitchen towels. There, I smudged it. But you guys get the idea, and I think you will actually do this. Very well. Ugh. I think I'm done. Me thinks he's done. Um, these photos, reference pictures that I give you to use is copyright free so when you have done your painting or your drawing you can sign your painting or drawing because we are all just using the same reference that's it we're not making the same picture you are not copying my painting you're using a reference and the reference photograph is copyright free so you are allowed to sign and sell your artwork alrighty if it's not copyright free I don't know if I've mentioned this yet to the new students if any reference picture you must always make sure that your reference picture is copyright free um, otherwise, you are legally not allowed to sign your artwork and sell it for money. Um, that's how the copyrights works. Um, there is a few places on the internet that you can get copyright free um, reference pictures. I will at one stage give you um, some of those links. If you want to um, use, do your own thing with reference pictures. Alrighty, see you guys for the next one. The next one, um, if I remember correctly, where is that list that I made? Let me check the list. Um, the next one will be a wishy-washy one so we will use more water with the coffee mixtures it's going to be a nice wishy-washy one a true watercolor rendering with coffee <laughs> okay bye guys stay safe